What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another truck camper build video. So today I'm going to install the solar panels on the roof of the topa topper and I'll show you guys I got them up on the truck right now. I'm just figuring out where I want them to go. I'm going to run three 100 watt solar panels. So I got them spaced out kind of where I want them. I'm just going to start figuring out where the wires go, zip tying everything to make it clean. And then I'm going to use these little 3M sticky things to uh, secure the wires on the roof. You'll see that. So I was going to use silicone to attach the solar panels, but I decided not to just in case I need to replace them. Because from what I've read online and seen on YouTube, these thin solar panels don't last long, uh, maybe two, three years tops, but hopefully I get lucky. So yeah, to run the positive and negative solar panel wires into the camper, I'm using this ScanStrut dual cable seal to secure the panels on the roof I'm simply just going to be using this 3M VHB yeah I got a whole bunch of this and then around the outside edges I'm going to be using a turnabond it's like a RV tape all right so I cleaned the roof with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure there's no oil or dirt and this is how I'm laying out the 3M tape just like so So I picked this up at Home Depot. However, it looks a lot thinner. And man, this was like $25. It's crazy. That's why I'm using this one inch because it's a lot cheaper. The two inch is like crazy expensive, like this. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just use a lot of this stuff. So I already got the double-sided tape on there and there. I just have to do this one. Um, I haven't taken the backing off of any of it yet. So let's get it all on. All right, so I am using a lot of the 3M tape. You can see I had extra, so I added a lot more. I got the first one on, and I gotta say, it feels really solid just with the 3M tape. So let's get this one on. I pretty much got the spacing on to where these will hook up properly. Now, you can see I wrapped this wire around here. Um, the right way to do it would have been to take these apart shorten them and then recrimp on the little metal connectors um, but i'm just doing this for now I'm telling you man it's like it's solid which what I learned on YouTube is that this VHB tape, it bonds the best in about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Looking pretty good. So this is what, this is what we're looking like. Got two of them on. All right, so hopefully you can hear me and not the music across the street. Um, but we got all three panels on with the 3M tape and then I actually ran out of this RV tape. Let me know what you guys think. I just cut it by hand so it's not perfectly straight. But um, so you can see like it's not perfect. But it is super solid. Like this will probably keep water from getting underneath the solar panels. Um, I won't have problems with the roof rusting though even if it does because Topa Toppers uh, puts a white vinyl wrap on the top of the roofs. It's supposed to keep the heat down. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you think it looks clean, 
think it looks all right. So yeah, I'm gonna have to order more of this tape, but the next, the next thing's gonna be drilling holes to run the cables through the camper. And I'm gonna use the cable gland. These things actually, this is what I was talking about earlier, these little sticky things you could uh, zip tie wires to. They actually look really clean, so I'm pretty happy with this. All right, I'm gonna open up the camper, that way I can see where I'm gonna be drilling in. I don't wanna drill into my bed, but three panels fit nicely up here. We got the panels mounted, we got the wires going through the camper, and it's looking clean with that uh, scan strut cable gland. Uh, so I wanna show you guys, hopefully you can see in here, I might have to turn the flash on. So these screws, I'm gonna get something to cover them so I don't poke myself. But you can see there, I'm using these things just like I did on the roof. Got one there, there along this inner channel now here is where I'm gonna have to get creative because it needs to go down towards my solar stuff right so if I could do it all over again I would have drilled a hole straight here and had it come down through the back here but I already cut this is what I did notched out this right here made a hole right there and I'm gonna vacuum it up So I got most of this RV tape around the edges. I just wanted to show you guys. Hopefully you can see, I got it around three sides. I haven't done this, these edges on the passenger side because you can see I wrapped these up. Um, what I'm gonna do, I actually bought new MC4 connectors, these guys. Um, I'm, I'm gonna shorten these cables. That way it looks cleaner. Um, so that's the plan anyways, but yeah, 3M tape, and then this RV tape around the sides is, it's super solid. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to install these thin solar panels on the top of your truck or camper or van or whatever this is the way to do it this stuff's probably going to keep the water out which would be cool so all right you guys again thanks for watching see you in the next video all right you guys so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video i just installed the solar panels routed the wires used the scan strut cable gland to make the wiring clean into the camper. I'll show you guys the finished up wiring. So it's not hidden, but it's not super ugly. And here's my solar panel shut off. So you can see this is where I plugged in my positive and negative wires. So I'm gonna turn on the batteries and See if I can maybe get the app downloaded for this charge controller and see what the solar panels are doing. But 
that's gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys learned something and i can't wait to get out and use the solar panels so see you guys in the next video later